Hi there. Welcome to Crack Concepts. Today we'll be working on some basics of Power BI. When you open Power BI, you get this particular screen on your device. So, first of all, we need to connect data. Here we have add data to your report. We can import data from Excel. Clicking on this would guide you to your data set stored on your system. All you have to do is select a data set and click open. Power BI will take a while to execute this query, so you'll have to be a bit patient. Now you'll see all the sheets present in the said Excel file. You have to go over here and click. If there are multiple sheets in your Excel file, you'll have to click on all of them or the ones you need and click on load. Again, this would require a while to apply. And here we go. Now your sheet has been loaded. However, for the purpose of this video, I want to work for, with the sample data set. So, I would be removing this connection. Now, I'm back to this page and here I'll work with a try a sample data set. Here you can click on lo load sample data. If you, are work if you want to experiment with Power BI and are not sure which data to use, I would recommend loading a sample data set since it's made with a lot of rows and columns that are good for practice. Again, I'll select the financial sheet and I'll take an overview of how the sheet works, unit sold, manufacturing price. Okay, so it's talking about the sales of a store. I would also look at sheet one over here. I did not click on the uh, tick mark. I just viewed the sheet by clicking on its name. Okay. Taking a look at this, this is also a financial statement. So let's just load both of these and see which one we want. And let's click on load. Now, again, this would take a little while to upload. So now, your data has been uploaded. Let's understand the different components of our Power BI workspace. Over here, you have three buttons. The first one where you would build visuals, that is the current place we are in. The second one shows the data in a tabular format. The third one is used to define ER models. We'll understand that later on. Right now, our primary focus is this. Then we have the ribbons. These ribbons are pretty much present in any Microsoft Office software you use. They're these ribbons that help you work in depth on your task. So we'll be using these along the course of our Power BI videos. Right now, I'll hide this by clicking on a button over here. This, build visuals with your data, is our main dashboard. Here we'll be building visuals, adding images, adding text. Overall, just displaying our dashboard in the most creative and fun way possible. Then we have some filters. This toggle option in all three bars helps you hide and unhide a particular element. So this is the filter option. This filter applies to your entire dashboard and we'll be working with this as well. Then we have the visualizations options, the kind of visual we want to, the kind of visual we want to build, the data that we want to add, etc. And over here, we can format this page by giving it a background color, etc. wallpapers, filters. Again, let's hide this one. This is an important element, fields. Here we have all the columns that we are going to be using for our visualizations in all the across all the sheets. So let's hide this for now. And this is how we can increase our dashboards. We can add another page and work on another dashboard or another visual. 
Now what's interesting about Power BI is that you can either create one visual on this entire page or you can convert this into a dashboard with multiple visuals. Power BI gives you more flexibility of how you want to place your visuals on the dashboard. You'll get to know this as and when we build more visuals. Right now, let's try to build a basic bar graph. So we'll go to the visualization tab and select a bar graph. I want a normal clustered column chart. So I would click over here. See, it's added. But since we have not provided any data yet, we cannot view it. I'll drag it into the center. See how simple it was to drag and drop or to change the size. And you can just add multiple other graphs this way and fit it any way you want as long as it stays within your, the dimensions of your dashboard. Now, I have to add data over here. X-axis, Y-axis, legend, etc. So right now we'll build a basic graph. So let's see financials and see which one we can use. I want the sales of each month. So my Y axis denotes my sales, let's run and drop. And my X axis denotes the month. Now we have a visual, a simple bar graph of how many sales are made in each month. There are multiple formatting options present. We'll touch on them in further videos. Right now, let's understand what other kinds of charts that we can make. We have a stacked bar chart, a stacked column chart, a clustered bar chart, a clustered column chart that we have currently made, a 100% stacked bar chart that is one that works within percentage, a 100% stacked column chart, line chart, area chart, stacked area chart, line and stacked column chart, line and clustered column chart, ribbon chart and multiple other options. What's interesting is that you can you can also use your R and Python script over here to build a visual. So if you're really good at Python and want to build a visual through that code but have it appear on your Power BI dashboard, you can easily do that too. We'll touch upon all these interesting topics in further videos. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching Crack Concepts. If you like our videos and would like more of these, please consider subscribing.